Kia ora everyone, we're going to create a 3D model for your site. We're going to use a website called cadmapper.com uh, to select some models and take it into Rhino. We're going to do that by um, clicking the get started creating a file. You're going to need to um, click on there. And if you haven't already, you're going to need to sign up. I've done that. so. We'll just head back in and sign in. Right, and then you'll um, be taken, I've already done this so it's already in here, but you'll be um, taken to uh, wherever you, if you do a search for wherever you're living, um, and by default uh, you can see here that uh, anything over one square meter you have to pay for so we don't need a whole one square meter so we're gonna just click this and zoom it into where we want and then just move around until we uh, find the site that you're wanting um, I'm just gonna come in and get a zoom in a bit find the park that I'm looking for which is just here so I'm just doing around the School of Architecture so if we zoom in it gets a little bit tricky so oh, that sort of does it that'll do about there so just um, you want uh, area that's so if I'm just going to use the park outside and around School of Architecture so this is my site not just the park but uh, around that so um, you just want a little bit more around that area then we come over here to create your map so we want it to come out in Rhino um, then we can select 3D buildings if available set false height I've just set eight meters um, depending on where you are you might want to adjust that a little bit and then we want topography and contours four meters is, is as accurate as we get and that's fine for what we're doing in road geometry I've set to outlines uh, and then I've set highways to eight major roads to eight and then meters and then minor roads to six and pathways to, to two and once we've done that, we can click Create File. And that comes up with a preview, which is really great. So we can sort of, while that's generating, we can just check that we've got everything right and um, sort of have a look at what we've created. So generally, that looks quite good. So we can then come over here and hit the Download button. And then uh, it's downloaded it. So by default it creates a zip file, you'll want to um, uh, unzip that, so here I've done that here, um, and then we can just double click on that and it will open up in Rhino. Something to be mindful of is the units, so by default this will be in meters. And that's fine. You just need to be aware of of that when you're when you're working, and that everything will be in meters. And some of the site analysis that we're going to do, being in meters is makes life a little bit easier as well. Uh, and you'll notice if you come down and look at the light layers panel. So on the PC, it's a little um, slice of cake basically. Uh, we have all these different layers. Let's just see that to rendered. Um, and what we can do is uh, just turn off different elements depending on what's happening. So it's quite useful to be able to see different uh, and control different parts of it. So layers is really useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. And this is just to tidy up things a little bit. And then give that... Uh, Paths, let's call it paths and roads if you want. And 
the row of circles just next to it uh, will make that the current layer so that's um, anything you now draw or do will go onto that layer and then we can actually turn off all the other ones we want to keep on outlines and then parks and buildings we've just got this uh, range of of lines so these are if we select on these it'll say closed curve um, and there's a, a, a few of them there but um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create some new surfaces out of those so we're going to do that so select them all and then type in explode and then uh, we're going to type patch so we're going to patch them back up patch. and uh, depending on how much space you shouldn't need to adjust these so um, let's just see how this goes we can click preview just to check uh, and that's looking pretty good so that's fine so obviously you can tweak things if you if you doesn't seem quite right so then we can go okay and if we now just select this we can see that's on layer paths which is great and if we select the line work you can see that's on outline so we've got these on two different layers now we want to type in split um, and this is to get rid of that surface elsewhere around those roads and then select the object to split we want to split that big surface and then we want to select the cutting objects which is the those outlines so we're going to select those push return or enter and now it should have split that all up so if i click this you can see there's some other bits so i'm going to click delete and delete that and then i can just come in and delete any bits that i want to get rid of um, in there so uh, that just gives us some nice clean roads as a way of, of allowing a little bit more control and now if we turn on the topography these uh, should be pretty close but what we m may need to do if we just select the paths so if we come down here and select objects and then we just want to bring that up a little bit so you can see it'll come up a long way we just want to bring it up a little bit yeah um, and if we want we can give some things some color so I'm gonna just do this in the rendered view you can change it on the layer um, as well I'm gonna add some colors to this so Topography, a little round circle here is a material. So by default it's just set to plaster, but the color is um, over here. So let's just play, play with, or let's just click dark green. Play with the colors depending on what system you have. And then if I go apply, now I've got a green surface. Um, you can play with those uh, if you like. And now I can come back and turn the other layers on and we've got these these parts let's just depending on where you are oh, parks let's just turn everything else off we might want to just do so that's a closed curve we might want to do some similar um, actions with the explode patch and split function uh, that we did before just to, to tidy those up um, as a way of doing that so let's just do this one to go over that again so I'm just going to explode patch and then just preview that to check that it's alright and that's looking pretty good so I'm just going to go OK so in this case I'm not going to need to uh, do anything else but that's given us a little surface to, to work on if we're going to look at that area um, and I've just kept that in parks but I could have created that in another layer as well 
to, to, in fact we will do that so let's create a new layer parks park surface um, let me just move that up to there and then I can change I've got that surface trimmed surface I can uh, set that to park surfaces and that just gives us some options to uh, control how that all looks and plays out later on let's just turn everything back on okay so we've got a little area now to to work with and do some site analysis on and with